Where do I get my tech news? <laughs> That's easy. Tech linked, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Specs for what could be Intel's ninth gen mainstream processors have leaked from Chinese site Cooler. But are they cool, Aller? We'll see. We got numbers for the eight core Core i9 9900K, that's a lot of nines, the eight core Core i7 9700K, and the six core Core i5 9600K, the latter of which had already been spotted on Intel's database with a 4.5 gigahertz boost clock instead of 4.6 as listed in this leak. The other interesting thing about this leak is the Core i7 appears to be without hyper-threading. Only the Core i9 has 16 threads for its eight cores. For a long time, the flagship desktop i7 has had hyper-threading, and the i7-8700K, its predecessor, has six cores and 12 threads. Now, okay, come on, before you get your caprice in a twist, we don't know what kind of performance these chips will get, or even whether these numbers are accurate until these chips launch later this year. We don't even know whether this reality is real, or a simulation, like Papa Musk says. So keep calm and carry on. With the tech news, after admitting there was an issue with its 2018 Core i9 MacBook Pro overheating and limiting performance, also known as thermal throttling, FYI, Apple has released a fix. The company said there was a missing digital key in the firmware for the thermal management system, which is remedied in the latest macOS High Sierra update. The original whistleblower for the problem, YouTuber Dave Lee, has given the update his sort of blessing. According to his test, the Core i9 machine now renders slightly faster in normal conditions than it did when he stuck it in the freezer before the patch. So that's great. But the question still lingers. How the heck did Apple not encounter this problem during testing? The people buying your $7,000 laptop are professionals. But it seemed like the only thing Apple made sure worked properly was the fan favorite touch bar, which James would never buy a laptop without at this point. It's very useful. I'm just gonna let the silence hang. I love the touch bar too. <laughs> And Google kicked off its Cloud Next conference in San Francisco yesterday with a bunch of machine learning and AI announcements. AutoML Vision, the company's machine learning tool for image and object recognition, is now in public beta, and AutoML tools for natural language and translation are being tested with select companies now. They're also working on an AI customer service agent called Contact Center AI, very creative there, which sounds like it's Google duplex for companies. Aside from the AI stuff though, Google is also releasing two versions of a USB two-factor authentication dongle called the Titan Security Key. One is a normal USB key, the other is a Bluetooth low energy fob. Is Google releasing a bunch of AI programs and two-factor keys at the same time to prevent a situation where said AIs can't become super intelligent and hack us because they don't have arms to hold USB keys? Seems likely to me. What do I know? I'm just a <laughs> low energy Bluetooth fob. <laughs> That's, that's a bit of an insult to call somebody. You low energy Bluetooth fob. What's, what do you call a fob then, if it's not a fob? Are you calling me? No, I'm not talking about you, Dennis. Oh God. It's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by an electronics retailer that is currently in good operation. Memory Express. If you're looking to buy electronics in Canada, let me tell you, these guys are good. Memory Express has rigorous customer care with 15 day returns and exchanges so Canadians can feel good about their electronics and themselves. Plus, with their Uber price beat guarantee, they'll beat any authorized Canadian retailer's price by 10% of the difference, both in store and online. Click the link below for all the details. There's always more Google news. There's always more Google news when you want it or when you don't. It's time for... Yeah, I choked. <laughs> <laughs> Quack bats! There's always more Google news. If you're using YouTube's more modern redesign, the site loads a lot slower on Edge, Safari, or Firefox than Google's own Chrome browser because of an API specific to Chrome, according to Mozilla's Chris Peterson, which would be less of a big deal if Google wasn't being fined billions of dollars already for anti-competitive practices. There are some things you can do to speed up those other browsers, though, so check the news sources for the info. Wait, was that Mozilla guy's name Chris Peterson? Crispy Ederson. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Crispy Ederson. What? Chris Peterson. But on the plus side, the latest build of Chrome will show any site that hasn't enabled HTTPS, did I say that right? HTTPS as not secure, hopefully pushing companies to make sure their websites comply with a safety protocol. So that's the last Google story, I swear. 
Google is, I mean, Valve is updating the chat feature of Steam to look more like Discord with group chats, inline media support, and more. But will they be able to have the same fun tongue-in-cheek attitude as Discord? No, because they've lost their heart. That was sincere, Valve makes me sad. More fake meat burgers for everyone. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The FDA has given the okay to the key ingredient, heme, in Impossible Foods non-meat burger that tastes like meat. It's already available all over the US and Hong Kong though, so it's good to know everyone hasn't been poisoning themselves in the meantime, including Dennis. I already did. He already tried it, and he's not dead yet, so unfortunately. Hey! Oh. I didn't mean that, I just thought it worked. NVIDIA UK is bundling 120 gigabyte Kingston SSDs with select graphics cards, which really says how cheap SSDs have become. Soon we'll just be like, hey, got a 240? Nah, go fish, cause they're... That's really good. But not if these researchers have their way. Scientists at the University of Alberta, Canada, have created the most dense solid state memory ever, exceeding the capacities of hard drives by 1,000 times. They do it by manipulating individual atoms. Actually, no, that would help the whole SSD situation. I said it wouldn't help, but it, it would make them cheaper, so. You know what, never mind, it's time to end this tech link already. Like, dislike, subscribe, retweet, favorite, upvote, downvote, whatever you kids do on the internet these days. I'm grumpy. I'm not, I just wrote that. Alberta. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew Alberta knew how to use computers? That's rude. That's rude. They're the Texas of Canada. Yeah, sort of. Sorry, Texas. I was born at Edmonton, so oh. love you guys. So was I. Really?